Welcome back to homeremade.online. Found it first, and this is another unboxing edition. I know I said I was going to do an art um, edition, but I don't feel like I know enough about my art to talk about it yet, so I'm going to study the pieces I have a little bit and then have a little more knowledge before I do that video. So to start things off, I found this butter dish. I think it's a hobbyist piece. It's a quite a large uh, butter dish. And as you can see, it looks like a hobbyist piece because there's no markings on the bottom. But actually, it's so cute. I think I might actually keep this for myself. So that's going to be in the background. Then I was lucky enough to find a 12 set of this which these are Francoma uh, coffee, uh, coffee dishes, and you can see the Francoma, hopefully, yeah, you can see it right there. Francoma C12 Francoma Pottery. And again, I found a set of 12. I'm gonna move this so you can see everything a little better. So I snatched these right up then, I know I have more of these, but I bought more. These are the most gorgeous Homer Lachlan dishes. They're Rhythm by Homer Lachlan. But every time I see them, I buy them. Uh, I just don't know what it is. They're just beautiful. Anything by Homer Lachlan, I just love. These are an awesome set of candlesticks. Very vintage looking. I love the lines going up the circular design. I just thought that they were something special, so they came home with me. Next, this was made in Vietnam, and I'll give, give you a closer closer look at it, but it has this awesome, awesome undersea painting on it, and I just thought it was beautiful, so that had to come home with me. This lovely little German dish, hand-painted florals. Not sure which, yeah, it would go like this. And it is labeled Germany with the number 10. This guy I thought was just an amazing find. It is, he says made in Mexico right there. And you don't find these every day as souvenir pieces. And I did do a look up on these and these can do pretty well. So I, this was a very lucky find. The smooth back. Um, someone put a padding on the bottom to keep the bottom smooth. But this was an awesome find. Two candlesticks. Very vintage. In a harp design. Which you can see. I looked at these for quite a few minutes before I decided they were good enough to bring home and list. Again, clear glass. Not everybody goes for buying clear, gl clear glass as resellers, but as I've said before, that doesn't. Sh uh, I'm not shy of buying that. And I'm not shy of buying um, souvenir pieces. So this is labeled Cabo San Lucas but the painting of the shark and the ocean scene just got me. I was just like, and it's labeled Mexico. So that came home with me. I've got this awesome dish. No chips or cracks. The inside has a few spoon, um, marks but this is Wedgwood so this was a really lucky find it looks pretty plain just walking down the aisles but it's got this awesome daisy pattern all around it and 
if you could see it, there's crazing, which shows its age all over the lid. Oh, this is just an amazing cobalt blue piece of glass. It has um, a floral design on it. Uh, it's not marked anywhere, but the way that the light hits this, I just thought was beautiful. So that was a no-brainer. Let's see here. <clears throat> Speaking of Rhythm Homer Lachlan, I found this lovely gravy boat. Again, hand-painted floral design. It is labeled Rhythm Homer Lock by Homer Lachlan. So that, again, I just scooped right up. Now, let's see here. I'm going to have to start digging into a new box. All right. Where's the front? Oh, here we go. Here is the front of this cookie jar. It actually says Cookie Barn on it. So, and it's got a um, hen on the nest. But I thought this was just cute. So, there are no chips or cracks. Um, there are no labels on this. It's not hobbyist, so with a little research, I'll figure out who made this, and I'll be good to go. Okay, now next is this entire set of uh, Franciscan that I found. So I found the saucers, and the teacups, as well as, let's see. Actually, no, it's just a large set. It's just a large set of the Franciscan uh, saucers and teacups. So that was a good find. Art pottery again. Love it. This just has a very <clears throat> simple painting design to it, but the glaze is beautiful. And it is signed. Um, I'll have to make out the signature, but it, it is signed. And there is inside, actually, uh, a paper that tells of the heritage of this piece of pottery. So that that's really cool. These two articulated plates... I found that have a lovely floral painted design, um, Bavaria. So these are Bavaria. Those are really cute. Uh, this piece, if I can make it out, I believe this is provincial, Germany. It's a lovely tray with the handle. So it's got, again, a, lo a really lovely floral design to it with a gold trim and the label there. And you can very much tell that this has age. And this might seem pretty plain but I really like the lines on this platter. It's just a small serving platter. There are no chips or cracks on it. And lo and behold, made by Johnson Brothers from England. So not gonna be like a huge money maker, but it's a, it's a fine piece of work. This little dish I thought was just beautiful. It's a, a sugar and there are no chips or cracks. You can see it's just got a simple blue line. Um, th the handles have some gold trim. And this is made in occupied Japan, CPO Mako. So not sure what that means exactly. 
but I'll have to figure it out. But made in occupied Japan, it's got some age. I got another dish, which I thought was just beautiful. Again, no chips or cracks. You can see the age to this. Um, and especially on the bottom, it's got some crazing that has started. And it was made by J&G Meekin in England. So this is a piece of Meekin, which is really cool. There you can see the top. That was a really good find. This I thought was just beautiful. And I'm not really sure what it, who made it, but it's a swan vase and it has a floral um, design to it that has, not that I can see, I don't see any chips on it at all. So the flower is fully, fully there, even the center of the flower, which I think is really cool. But this is just a really pretty vase, so that had to come home with me. All right. Then I found some more Haviland Limoges dishes, which you know how much I love Limoges. So even though there's just two little dishes here, I was like, yep, those are coming home with me. Just the gold trim and the simple painting um, design. I thought these were really pretty. A couple more articulated plates that I found. They both have this uh, peach painting on them. And these are actually made in occupied Japan. Um, and it just says hand painted. I thought these were really pretty. So those can go with the other articulated plates. Um, oh yeah. These are matchy matchy. So I found these two pieces of um, glass, which I would believe, oh yeah, they're pressed glass. They've got a lovely uh, star design to them. So that's just a small, like, saucer-like dish. And then this lovely rounded dish that matches it. So I had to grab them both. There was a larger piece, um, but it had scratching on the bottom of it, and I just really didn't want to bring home something that had a whole bunch of scratches on it. All right, here come the birds. Here come the birds. Look at this goose. It is so beautiful. And it is, let's see, I'm gonna have to get closer to read this. La oh, it's Ladro. So this is a Ladro figurine. Which I think is just beautiful. And then for my personal collection, I brought home this duck, which I thought was just cute. I thought it was a really cute figurine of a duck. It does have um, a marking. It's got actually two markings on the bottom. One is um, engraved, so this was handmade. So that's pretty special. I'm keeping that one. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to show these. Oh, these are so funny. So I've got shelf setters which I just noticed that one's missing one of his pieces, but that's okay. Um, I've got these three little shelf sitters that are fruit. I thought they're just adorable. 
I don't know. Now that I know that this one's missing one of his beads, I might just keep them for myself. I don't know. I'll have to see. But shelf setters are just so adorable. Someone else will want them, I know. But we'll see what happens when I list them. If nobody buys them, then I'll keep them. This spaghetti poodle figurine is just to die for. There are no cracks on this thing. There's no chipping. It's not labeled, but I'm pretty sure it's Italian. But this is just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little figurine. And speaking of spaghetti poodles, I have to walk a little ways. All right. So, I don't even know how this is going to work for me to get these out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is kind of difficult, even with two hands. Okay. All right, I got it. This was such an amazing find. To find, like, the mother poodle with the two babies that are chained to her. Like, come on now, who wouldn't want this? They're adorable. It's the mommy taking the babies for a walk. So that was just a really good find. And i that's not the end of it. <clears throat> so this is one set of the spaghetti poodles that I found. So i am got to carefully move these to the side because they are in perfect condition. I don't see any labels on these either, but I am guessing Italian. Then, for a second set of spaghetti poodles, I found these. They don't really, well, these two go together. Okay, so these two go together. You got the spaghetti poodle with his top hat on. And then the spaghetti poodle with her bonnet on. And then this lonely one that I found all by itself. And it's got a floral design on its head. Like it has a little, another little hat on. I thought those were adorable. I really can't wait to do some research on these and see where they came from. Again, I'm gonna carefully put these to the side. All right, spaghetti poodles. All the rage. All right. I found this bottle stopper, which I thought was beautiful. And I don't know anything about it. There aren't any marks on it. No markings. But I thought the metal on the top, mixed the gold metal mixed with the blue, maybe it's a brass. But I thought that was a good find. I have not purchased any of those before. That was the first one. I've got lots of dishes. But maybe I will show these. All right. So these are marked USA. And I thought they were pretty adorable. I love the color brown. They're very simplistic. It's got the cream inner color with the brown outside. And then I found a skinnier version of the same creamer. Again, labeled USA but I thought they were really cute. Of course, I'll list them separately, but. Uh, this 
What is it? Oh, this is a Czech piece. Made in Czechoslovakia. It's got that, um, again, the iridescent, uh, pearlish look to it. It's You can see right there it says Czech. And it's got the number 17. Um, there are no chips to it. So this was a good find. I love anything I can find that's made in Czechoslovakia for some reason. And then there's a, this was a funny story. So I found this Japanese tea set that has the pot and the sugar and the creamer. And I was in checkout at the thrift store and a lady taps me on the shoulder and she's like, I can't believe you got those. I came here specifically to get those because someone called me and told me they were here. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really wasn't that sorry because they're really pretty and I really wanted them. So I didn't give them to her. I kept them. All right, call me selfish, whatevs. All right, what's next? Oh, this. Another piece of pottery. It's just a simple uh, blue vase vase. It is signed, but I really can't make out the signature. It has some really good weight to it for such a small vase. Um, but it's got such beautiful variation in the blues. I thought that was just a really, really good find for pottery. This beautiful vase has, I don't know, it looks like cottontails to me. Um, and I can't remember what it says on the bottom. I don't think it says anything. Let me see. Yeah, there's no labeling on this one at all. So I'll do a little research. But I just thought it was really pretty. So I brought that home. more plates but these are so different so i found two of these um a satin almost like a satin pressed glass with the floral design so this one has more lighter pastels this one darker i thought those were so pretty as a little set so those came home with me okay how many of these did I find? Two, four, six. I found a little set of six of these beauties. Now, I'm not sure who makes them, and I did a Google search on them, and a couple different makers came up, so I'm gonna have to do some research on these, but I just thought they're gorgeous. Even without a label, I brought them home. And then, a semi-reticulated dish, which is milk glass. I thought this was just beautiful. Um, it has just this really awesome floral design to it with a smooth middle. Um, it is marked with a 48... So I, that gives me something to go on if I want to look up, look it up and see where it came from. All right. And one last thing. The set of Fox uh, measuring cups, which I thought were super cute. I mean, they're probably, con they're probably more contemporary, but I mean, they do look like they have some age. Um, and someone packed them really nicely with cardboard in between, so they're in good shape. Um, so I thought, you really can't go wrong. Someone's going to find these as cute as I did. So, well, I think I went through enough things for today, but I still have a lot to unpack. Oh, look, you can even see the tail on the back of those. I didn't notice that. That is so cute. Okay. Okay. So stay tuned for the next episode, and thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you soon.